Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to AM Buffalo. In just a little bit, we're going to give you a full one-hour edition live from the Buffalo Auto Show. Courtney is with me, and we've got lots to do, so stay right there. AM Buffalo is coming up, and we are so thrilled to have you all here. It's a Friday. A lot of people are home and saying, ah, oh, we're going to come on out to the car show this year, and we certainly recommend that you do because there is so much happening. As we did yesterday, we are enjoying uh, Paul Stasiak, who is the president of the, a uh, a the NFADA. I, I messed that up yesterday, too. And Paul, you've got so much going on. You have, got, you have really put in a week's worth of entertainment in one weekend for this incredible show. Well, no, I didn't do it. I, I know. First no, you all, did do I, it. <laughs> I get some credit. I mean, Trey and the whole team, you know what it means to not just our dealers, mm -hmm. but the community. We talk about what we do from an economic stimulus. The county executive just left. He asked me how many people are in town. And I said, we got 87 guests that are staying seven days. Those are just workers. Right. So you think about when you got 500 room nights or something mm -hmm. like that, that's millions of dollars for Buffalo. So the auto show is more than just cars on a carpet. Absolutely. It's an economic engine for, we think, the whole community. Hey, you know what? And even later in our show, we have a guest from the uh, Seneca Buffalo Creek Casino. They're involved. We talked to the troopers yesterday. We uh, we spoke to the guys from the U.S. Army yesterday, and we're going to feature them on Saturday. There's just a little bit of, of so many different factors that, that come together for this show. Well, we're excited. This year we added a lot of new partners. Yeah. The Army. You talk about Seneca with the $15 um, free play at the end. Um, yeah. You're going to have LOE. LOE LO trailers on in a little bit. We've added commercial applications. We've got jet skis. So for us to do new things is always exciting. The people coming to show historically, now we'll see a few other different. We got a peanut guy and, and you're going to laugh. People were more lined up for the peanut guy yesterday than they were some of the cars. Amazing. And now we're feeding them. Hey, you know what? You know, Paul, later in our show, and as we had talked to uh, a little bit earlier, we have a full 60 minute edition of AM Buffalo today. A little bit later, Courtney, uh, has done a story on the mobility people who are here and and you had something happen yesterday which really brings that a uh, home on how important that is for people to be able to have their cars modified so they can get around Linda you do a great job with the community and yesterday was a touching day for us we've always tried to do things on an education basis today's our auto student day well a lot of students in here um, the mobility function you often take for granted yesterday a young lady yeah. couple came up and look for me. When they say, you Mr. Stasiak, I get a little hesitant. What fell, what happened, what broke? She said, we just bought a ticket to come in and say thank you. Last year we brought our mother, because we heard you with Linda talk about the amount of people with driving needs. She said her mother was depressed, going through major depression, was in a wheelchair, felt she lost her ability to get around, mm. felt too dependent on her kids. She came to the show last year. They helped them figure out how to drive. She's now got total the ability to get around Western mm -hmm. New York. And that's all they came for. They said, mm -hmm. we're not in the market. We just came to say thank you. We that's listened something. and we went. Now this, this lady is a grandmother, drives the kids to practice, picks them up, helps the family produce revenue. And she says, more importantly, she feels good about her life again. Right. Who would think an auto show would do that? But Mobility Works would be down there this year doing it again. And I told them to step up their game and they do a great job. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell them the story and they didn't know it. So yeah. if we can deliver that kind of um, safety, security, and independence, it's more than just putting a car now, up. Now, Courtney will be doing that story later in the show, so you can see what it is they do. But where are they here if people are coming today? They'll be near the Batmobile. Oh, near the Hummer, downstairs, right? Near the BMW yeah. Volkswagen area. That's awesome. They have their that own room. awesome. So they can talk privately, and they'll be opposite the Lamborghini. Uh, you know, like we were saying, you've got a lot of hot cars here, some concept cars. The technology with these cars, Paul, it, it, they're, they're just being made safer and safer all the time. Well, Joe Hurley brought in the Genesis. You know, they talk about the car of the year. Yesterday, I had a real chance to sit in and touch everything. Safety, economy, efficiency, mm -hmm. it's a big car. It's a, it's a luxury car, but the safety components in it, now I know I was car of the year. I, I really see it in the headlines. Mm -hmm. We didn't have one. They brought three of them in, and I watched people gravitate toward just with you know the autonomous features mm -hmm. that are there, as well as the combination comfort and safety. And of course, we have such uh, an important part of our community that's working for Chevy and for Ford, and it's wonderful to see those workers come in. They're, they beam being so proud of the product that they're putting on the road. Our local UAW here today made a special announcement this morning. 
five minutes before you got on the air. They were just awarded a new, um, I'm not gonna do it justice, 440 horsepower um, big truck engine. Fantastic. So that'll be See? more jobs, more opportunity. They just announced it. The county executive left, Brian Higgins, um, so our UAW brothers are all pumped up because it's another major right. engine investment to yeah. Western New York. That is fantastic. I love that. All right. Now, what time are the doors opening today? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Till 10. You still have, believe me, you want to be here first, too, before... It really gets crowded. If you're bringing little kids, that's okay. You won't see a speck of salt here. Everything is carpeted upstairs. The cars are shiny. They're brand new. You can get in them. Uh, the dealers are here. You have a lot of time, if you're in the car market, to take a look and see perhaps what's going to fit you. Education, education, education. Right, absolutely. Paul, I'm telling you, it's a good time. We have a lot to do for this next 60 minutes, and we're pretty excited about that. Uh, we're going to meet some of the students who are being honored because of their work getting started in this uh, industry. Well, that's that's a big function that the NFADA runs is youth development, employment, career technology. We'll have two students, but we've had hundreds of kids that will be here today getting acquainted to the industry, mm -hmm. whether it's the engine plant cars. So it's really special for us. We'll have guidance counselors, principals and instructors and administrators next door for a little workshop. So. It's fun day. Is it uh, possible that uh, the president of the NFADA has a favorite vehicle here? I always nope. put him on the spot. No. Nope. <laughs> Smart <SUV>. man. <laughs> I have a particular kind of vehicle, oh. but not a favorite. All right. Well, as Paul was saying, there's just so much going on with all these wonderful cars. We've got Courtney standing by over at the Channel 7 uh, Mobile Weather Lab. And you know what? She is there with the Buffalo Experience. So take a look, Courtney, and tell us what's going on. Thanks, Linda. Yes, there really is so much to celebrate here in the 716, especially when it comes to broadcasting, music, and sports legends. Well, it's super neat when we can combine those worlds with cars here at the Buffalo Auto Show. Now, joining us this morning on behalf of the Buffalo Hall of Fame experience is Therese Fort and Barnes. Therese, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Great way to start the morning by saying, go Buffalo, right? There's a lot to celebrate. Absolutely. Always a lot to celebrate in Buffalo, especially on a Friday. That's right. We're getting ready for the weekend here at the Buffalo Auto Show. There truly is so much to see from the cars, but then especially here with the Buffalo Hall of Fame experience. For those who are unfamiliar with what you're doing, talk to us about the project. It's a collaboration of the Music, Sports, and Broadcasting Halls of Fames. We came together many years ago and said, let's do this museum exhibit experience together, save money, collaborate, make it more exciting. So that's what we're trying to do. We, we all have been edit for about eight, nine years, but our Hall of Fames have been going for over 25 years. So we have a lot of history that not only that we have, but from all of our um, inductees going back many, many years. So we have warehouses full of memorabilia, but it's not going to just be memorabilia. It's going to be an experience. So it's going to be interactive and you can measure your hand against Jim Kelly or your foot against Bob Lanier, or you could make a call or you could sing a song that the Goo Goo Dolls produce and things like that. So that's going to be fun and different. So this is really a way to represent the 716 of the past and present. Absolutely, past and present, a great way to put it. And it's all about an experience of the past and the present. So it's from anybody from two years old to 92 years old. So it's going to be so exciting for people to walk in this and place that eventually will be built, hopefully in downtown Buffalo. But it's also for, it'll be a great tourism attraction. People will say, let's go to the experience before we explore Buffalo. Because you'll really learn a lot about things that have occurred here, past and present. So this is a project that's in the works, as you said, for many years now. So how can the community give back and, and help make this dream into a reality? So it's all about the community. This is for the community. And it's going to be a great addition to downtown Buffalo. And we're hoping in the Canal Side District. Right now, we have a text to donate campaign going on. And there's a phone number you can call, 638 I'm gonna, we're gonna, you're going to have to post that for okay, me because, right. okay. We can do that. Uh, I, th I think it's 638-2200, but, and then you text auto. And then, but it's also on our website, which is bfloexperience.org. All of that information is on there. You can donate anywhere from $7.16 and up. Hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> 716. So it's really about the community getting behind this. And we're, we're grass, 
roots right now. We need to raise money to go to the next level of hiring an executive director and a fundraising um, firm. So it's really exciting and we're really gaining momentum, especially here at the auto show. Thanks to them, we're really gaining a lot of uh, publicity. And where are you located here at the auto show? Where can Western New Yorkers come and say hi? And hey, I hear before we wrap up that some Buffalo sports legends are going to be making an appearance. Yes. Okay. So we're in room 102. We'll be there from five to nine tonight, all day Saturday, all day Sunday and come and see us because there's a lot of exciting things to see in there and we have somebody from each hall of fame in there helping to talk about it but sunday more importantly rick generat in the broadcasting and the sports hall of fame rip simonic in the sports hall of fame and the hockey hall of fame equipment manager for the sabers and marty braun and rob white will be here from 11:30 to 12:30, signing autographs all to benefit the buffalo hall of fame experience and I know our Linda Pellegrino is a part of the Buffalo Broadcasting Hall of Fame, so maybe she'll be in there too. Therese, thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your support. Of course, everybody. Like I said, we started it. We're going to end it. Go Buffalo. Go 716. There's so much to look forward to here at the 2019 Buffalo Auto Show. Linda and I will be back with so much more. You got to see these gorgeous, may I add, salt-free vehicles. We'll be back right after the break.